I started sort of like playing with wood since I was uh, a kid. Uh, back home in uh, Mexico, my cousin had a very uh, modest uh, wood shop and um, I just liked all that beautiful furniture. I have always been artistically inclined. At some point, like from building furniture, I started leaning towards uh, like carving and sculpting and that's where I am today. Growing up in Mexico, churches, they are everywhere. They are from colonial times, so you see all those uh, paintings and sculptures and the architecture and the carvings on the wood. I think that is how I started to develop my work, based on all those uh, memories. I would see things and, and wonder how it was made or how could I make it or like how could I learn how to make that. I was always attracted to handmade items. One day I was driving by the side of the road and I spotted some uh, logs and I just liked the shape of the, of the trunk and I thought I think I can make something out of it. I just started carving. Once I started learning techniques, I pretty much fell in love with it. This is some of the work that I actually developed. I call it uh, my signature work because as far as I know, nobody was making something like, like this. When I mean something like this, I'm talking about the shape. It is a technique that involves uh, both turning and uh, carving. The black part was actually burned with a wood burning pen. The embellishment on the piece, it is called the Quinto Sol. It uh, represents the elements of, uh, of life as well as the transition of uh, life and death had in Mesoamerican cultures. These uh, two pieces that you see are part of my Mesoamerican series. They represent important uh, aspects of uh, Mesoamerican culture. In this case, this is uh, Cuauhtémoc. It has um, feathers carved around that represent the status of a chief. And then uh, the descending eagle, which would be the translation of Cuauhtémoc. Cuauhtémoc was the last emperor before uh, Hernán Cortés finally conquered the city of uh, Tenochtitlan, which is now uh, known as Mexico City. It means endurance, resistance, indigenous pride. It's like a hero to, to us, you know, because he was the, the last one who actually stood his ground against the conquistadors. All these pieces are sort of like uh, created based on, uh, on memories from me learning um, Mexican history and visiting archaeological sites. You know, what I saw there was things carved on, uh, in stone. You know, it was not like marble, like really smooth. It was more like porous. In a way, that is what I am trying to represent. Both pieces that, that you saw, they are colored with a dry brushing technique. The difference is that on this, you see a little bit more of the natural wood, the walnut. What I did is just to highlight the texture that I applied. This work that you are seeing now, is the, uh, the development of driving by the road and saying like, oh, that piece of wood, I can make something with it. So that, that you know, this is the progression of it. I was already an adult when I set that goal for, for myself, to develop a type of work that I could call my own. I also think that whenever you get stuck into something, you stop growing. Every little thing or technique that you can learn from different disciplines, if you apply it to your work, it can only make it grow. Artistry and craftsmanship are closely related. One cannot exist without the other. You cannot make a bowl, you know, like a simple bowl. You cannot embellish that bowl and make it look nice if the profile of the bowl is not right. Because you, your eyes will be drawn to that profile because it's, it's a natural thing. In order for you to apply the artistic part to the bowl, you first need the craftsmanship to create the ball. And I think that holds true to just about any discipline you practice.